Lego has done something unbelievable recently and I want to talk about it because I feel like more people should be discussing this and it relates to AI which I think is pretty funny that Lego the company that constantly talks about creativity is using AI one of the least creative products they could use but let's talk about the elephant in the room real quick long time viewers may notice something different I'm rocking the season 2 mid season Zuko cut I admit it my hair is different as my friend has been constantly mentioning to me for the last few months now I have been rocking the same exact haircut for the last eight years today I am gonna make a video doing a camera type video because uh you know i i, I love doing these okay. and he wanted me to change it and i decided you know what He's absolutely right. So now I'm rocking this haircut. But anyway, let's talk about Lego. I constantly get off topic. Lego has been around for a while now, and their entire motto is, you know, creativity. They want people to be creative with their product. Don't always follow the instructions, which is what I do. I, I, I've, been, I've been going off the instructions for a few years now. I'm, I'm a bit of a professional at that. I even run a YouTube channel, the best I can build. Weirdly enough, a video talk about bootleg Lego is my most viewed video on the channel. I don't know why that is, but press scroll down, find some really questionable things. And throughout the years, LEGO has had a wide variety of sets and themes. And one of the biggest themes they have at the moment is Ninjago. Ninjago has been around for like most of my life, which is pretty crazy to think about. It started around 2011. And I remember even watching the original pilot in the original first few seasons back when it was airing on Cartoon Network. It's a very nostalgic theme for me. And unfortunately, it is nowhere near as good as it once was, but it's still a very popular theme. And recently, LEGO did a Ninjago character quiz and all the images they used were AI generated every single one I mean if you even look at the images you could instantly tell they're AI there's a lot of them here now my thoughts on AI images being used by people I'm not someone that thinks AI images should be banned altogether but also I'm not someone thinking AI images is the future that's a dumb take by the way my personal opinion on AI images is that first off it sucks that it's using other people's work to create its own images AI needs to be better at creating images instead of just stealing other people's work hello editor me here while I was ending the video I realized I should probably do more research into AI stealing digital art. I was only really going off information that I found out last year, so I wanted to see if there was more of a follow-up to it, see if these AI generation software developers actually did change it like they promised, and we haven't heard anything about it, so I'm assuming they didn't do it. But I did find out something interesting that might be useful for digital artists, and it's called Nightshade. And saying how it says in this news article, the program uses the open source machine learning framework, a side torch to tag images at the pixel level. The tags aren't obvious to humans looking at the image, but AI models see them differently, adversely affecting how the images are used for training. So if you want to use it for your own digital art, go right ahead. I'm going to link this article in the description down below if you are interested in it or learning more about this software. I feel like I should just add that into the video in case you are a digital artist and are afraid that AI might steal your artwork. If you want to create AI images in your own pastime, you absolutely can. There's nothing wrong with it. I've done it before and it can be pretty fun to do so if you want to claim yourself to be an artist that's completely fine though you are not an artist you just wrote a prompt into an ai generator if you want to post on twitter and be made fun of you absolutely can however ai images should not be used in a professional setting like a big company like lego you should not be using ai images in a professional business setting because at the end of the day there are people whose entire jobs surround about creating graphic design like it is their entire thing just to save a few bucks you're just going to create a very shitty version of it doesn't look good on you so that's my view on AI images. I think it's really stupid on LEGO to be using AI generated images in any sort of capacity, especially since LEGO as a company, entire corporate mindset is allowing people to use their creativity to create stuff. I mean, they even run an entire theme dedicated to making people's mock my own creation into official products, yet they use AI images. It's super hypocritical on their part and just a really dumb decision. But here's what Lego had to say. I have to go find it. We have a clear policy not to use generative AI to create Lego content. We fundamentally believe in the wonder and power of human creativity and will continue to encourage and celebrate the talented artists who help bring our brand and characters to life. These images were used in a test which happened outside of our usual approval process Process and we will take all necessary steps to ensure that it won't happen again. We believe generative AI offers interesting opportunities and we will continue to explore how we use it to improve the experiences we offer in our ways of working. Who in their right mind at LEGO decided to use AI images? Because this had to go through multiple different people to get approved for this. Obviously, all those people were on the same page about it. So I, I just don't get it personally and I feel like more people should be talking about this because I think this is a really big issue because unfortunately, this is now pushing further into AI images being used outside of idiots on Twitter. Unfortunately, I feel like this is becoming common. So yeah, that's all I got to say. Check out the best I can build. Links in the description down below. That's all I got to say. Look at Mothra.
fought it today. Now that's just weird. <clears throat> uh, do it again. <clears throat> oh gosh. That stunk horrible. Stop farting. See you guys later.